Hello, today's video is about how to send emails to customers after purchase. Let's begin. I'm going to show you how your students will receive the email of the login detail and course detail whenever they purchase your course. And for that, you'll need to add a sequence. To see your sequence, on the sidebar, click on Email Marketing and a drop-down menu will appear. Select Sequences. Then, create new. In another video, we will fully describe what is sequence and how you can use sequences in course funnels. So for this video, I'll briefly describe sequences. So now add in your sequence title. My title is Instagram Marketing Sequence. Now select SMTP. And we have a separate video tutorial for adding SMTP. Now select the list. To see your list and add to your list, on the sidebar, just click on List tab. Now that I have added my list, I'll select it on this sequence. And on Manage Sequence, I'll select During Sign Up. Then add in your email subject. I'll put in Thanks for Purchasing Course. And for unsubscribe message, let me add in, for unsubscribe, opening curly bracket, unsubscribe, closing curly bracket, link, opening curly bracket, slash, unsubscribe, and closing curly bracket. Now, we're going to add in our email body. This is an important part because in here, you will add your customer's name their details, and a lot more. So for the customer detail and the course detail, you'll need to go to the Help section. On the sidebar, click on Help tab. Now we will see Course Templating for Email and Students area. Click on it. And here you will see short codes for the details. So for your course detail, copy this short code. This is for multiple course but you can use this shortcode for a single one. So just copy the shortcodes and paste it on your email body. After that, don't forget to clear format your shortcodes for it to work. After formatting, you can add in your greeting and you can add shortcode for their names. Just type in opening curly bracket, name, and closing curly bracket. This shortcode will be replaced by your student's name. Then type in the content of your email. Label your shortcodes with Course ID for Course ID shortcode. Next, Course Title for the Course Title shortcode. And for Course URL, and for the course currency. And let me edit it further. I'll make the text titles bold. This is totally up to you, however you want to edit your email body. And after that, you can add more student details. You can add in their login details. Again, for your login details short codes, go back to the help section tab. And choose Templating with students' details. Here you will see the short code that I use for the names. And this short code for their email. Now for the student details, let me copy all of these short codes. Then paste it on your email body. And don't forget to clear format your short codes. After it formats, just arrange it. Again, add the labels for your shortcodes. For payment ID, login URL, student's email, student's password, student's payer name, payer name, Pay your email, total paid,
Then just delete this extra text. And again, I'll make it bold. After that, just click Add to Mail Sequence List. So your sequence are now ready. After that, just go to your course funnels. Then I will show you how your students will receive the email. Let me first go to my funnel, Instagram Marketing. Click on Edit Funnel. Select Order Page and go to Settings. Select your list, the same one you chose on your sequence. So whenever your student will purchase a course through this order page, by that time, this sequence will trigger. Select your course, select your payment methods, then save your settings. Now visit your order page. So let me fill up the form to purchase the course. Now we're on the payment details. You can see the course that I am purchasing. Instagram marketing. Again, add in your payment details. After we've submitted, we're now here on the payment confirmation page. You will see the confirmation email was sent to this email ID. Now I will show you the email which I have received. And here you will see the email that the sequence triggered. You can see I have received the product detail. We can see all the short codes that we used here, the name I used, and all the other short codes. So this is how your students will receive the email sequence whenever they purchase your course. So let me click on this login page. Now I'll just copy the email ID and password. Then log in. You can see I now have access to the Instagram marketing course. So this is how your customer or your students will get access to the course that they have purchased. So now if I click on the start course button, it will direct me to the course page. And that is it for today's video on how to add sequences to your course funnels. I hope you find this video helpful. As always, Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.